I'll do the whole promo like this. I'll do it. Now, let's bring it up here. <laughs> hey, everybody. You know, I realize that if I do these in the mornings before the shows, I get to be on before Daniel McCabe even does his intro. So that's a nice little plus. Anyway, I thought I should talk to you briefly and address a couple of things. The first being that it's been a couple of weeks since me and Zeus McFly did our thing in a No Dicks Bard match, and I've received a few strongly worded emails and tweets regarding the amount of Zeus McFly's blood that I ingested. And in my defense, I just want to say that it was delicious. I mean, human blood straight from the forehead, it does not get any sweeter than that. So I make no apologies for drinking Zeus McFly's blood, and I will do it again. Maybe with someone else, not Zeus McFly. As good as his blood was, I would imagine there is less tainted blood out there. But I think I've made my point with Zeus McFly. Now on to other matters, namely Mercury. Now people have also been wondering why I intruded on Mercury a little while ago. And I think I made it clear there, but I just like to make things crystal clear here and now. Mercury is scum. He is human scum. He is representative of everything that is wrong with the human race. He cheats. He has a scummy mustache. He puts too much stock in celebrities. And I aim to take him out and use that as my strike against humankind and all of its intolerance towards interspecies gentlemen and gentle women around the world. Now Mercury, I know you have this whole you can't powerbomb Mercury aura about yourself and I myself am not a powerbomb guy haven't really ever been at least for a long time but uh, I'm gonna put you out with what I can only assume will hurt you the most and that is a powerbomb. You you have all these counters to them, but if I can actually find a way to hit it, I would imagine being hit with a move you've never actually experienced before and have only countered will destroy you. So that's my plan. I know maybe it's not the wisest thing to lay out my whole game plan here right now before you, but I am that confident that I can take you out with that particular move, Mercury, that I'm telling you here and now. I am going to powerbomb Mercury. And right before I go, I just want to take a little aside and say that I don't think I would be doing any of this. I don't think I would be drinking Zeus McFly's blood. I don't think I would be powerbombing Mercury. I think I would be wallowing in mediocrity. Mediocrity. You heard me the first time. That was an audio error, not a speaking error. I blame technology, not myself. I would be wallowing in mediocrity. If a certain Alan Creasy, low those many weeks ago, hadn't set me straight. So, Alan, wherever you are, thank you for that. Mercury, tonight, it's going to be our first ever singles match, me and you, in I Suck Sticks. And you know what? It's going to be the last one, too. See you in the ring, kid. How's it going, everybody? Daniel McCauley back here with another great episode of I Suck Sticks, episode 25, I suppose. You may notice I got a bit of a ding on my glasses. Uh, well, the reason for that being, on my way here, I had a bit of a layover in Syracuse. I got into a fight with nine Marines in a bar, and I won. Regardless, I'm here now, here to talk about the great action we have for you. Main event, Scott Henson and Mercury. You saw them last week, having a bit of an altercation. Both guys kind of, uh, not really liked, as far as I Suck Sticks competitors go. So, kind of one of those things, I mean, who do you cheer for? Do you cheer for neither of them? I personally have to be an unbiased third party but I'm cheering for Mercury. Anyways, uh, you know, on top of that, lots of other good things. You may notice, you know, I'm, I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Matchmaking and Baked Goods. I do these intros for you every week. Uh, I have the matches from time to time, the matches as I like to refer to them, you know, here in worker speak. And I've also been doing a series of, uh, I guess, information, uh, instructional tapes, you could call them, on the mat with me, with Daniel Makabe. Um, and you sort of wonder, um, oh, hmm. 
how does Daniel Makabe, you know, chief executive officer of matchmaking and baked goods, manage to juggle all of these jobs, these tasks? I mean, that's a pretty busy uh, undertaking for someone to take, right? It's really, um, uh, you know, not that hard at all. All right. We're just going to do this. And, uh, oh, don't do these. And, uh, well, here we go. How's it going? Doing good? All right. So first things first, I'm going to show you a... Uh, oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. Yeah! For the first time, it's going down history, baby! How's it going? Daniel Maccabe here with another installment of On The Mat With Me. This is the show where I take you on the mat and I show you how to work. Today we've got a Peruvian necktie, which is a, a choke submission. It's set up like an anaconda. An anaconda being a personal favorite submission of mine, I like to call it the ice cube because it puts people out cold. But we're not talking about anacondas this week. We're talking about Peruvian neckties, which aren't to be confused with Colombian neckties, where you slit someone's throat and pull the esophagus out through the hole, which I'll be demonstrating next week. But first, Anyways, Peruvian necktie. So it starts like an anaconda, so we're going to sneak this through. I'm going to grab my own bicep. This is a nice, nice tight, tight grip. You're not going anywhere. You can control the head from here. The guy's trying to get away, but it's not going to happen. You're going to take this leg. You're going to kind of sandwich uh, his head underneath it. And your far leg is going to come over. You're going to roll back onto your hip. And believe me, he's going to go up fast. So here we go. Slowly. And over we go. And he's, he's probably feeling that right. Yes, he is. There we go. So, Peruvian necktie. Pretty simple, you know, a few steps. Let's go through that one more time in regular speed. You ready to go one more time? Okay, here we go. So, wait, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second. Can I, can I help you? Yeah, yeah, you can actually. You know what, uh, Mr. Kabe? I see you come out here every week, and you keep getting up here and keep telling everyone how you're Daniel McCabe, and you're gonna show them how to work, right? Am I right? That, that's true. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone already knows that I'm the only real worker here in this territory. I got the pants. I got the fanny pack. I got the look. Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. Uh, what, so why, why are you out here in my segment? I'm glad you asked. The reason I'm out here is because uh, back when I was in a, oh, I don't know, FCW. That's right. When I was back there, I was so good. They sent me down to Japan. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and they sent me to a little promotion called Fapolites. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, what, you know what they taught me at Fapolites? What did they teach you? They taught me the Fat Fat style. Okay, what, what's Fat Fat? It's the shoot style. It's the shoot style that you like to come out here and impress everybody with. That's right. So I know, everybody knows, knows, I know what you know. So I know how to do an arm bar, I know how to do a, a, a Japanese arm bar, and a, a Mexican arm bar, and um, okay, okay, what, I don't, still, what's your point? What, do you want to host my show or what? No, I don't want to host your show or anything. All right. Okay. Well, what I do want, I want a match. Okay. Okay. I want to match to see who's the better at the style, you know? So I'm proposing you and me in a fat, fat match. <laughs> okay, what, what are the rules of, of this fat, fat match? In fat, fat, you have five points each, okay. all right? Five, yes. You lose a point, you get a rope break, Okay. All right? Or if you knock the other guy down. Okay, if you're the one knocked down, you lose a point. Yes, that's right. Okay. And you can only win uh-huh. If you can knock the guy out, yeah. you make him tap, yeah. he loses all he gets points. All right, I, I mean, these rules aren't too unfamiliar to me. All right, fat, fat match. The, uh, you're, yeah, okay. Caden Talbain versus me, Daniel Makabe, on the mat, I suppose. So, tonight, that works for me. Yeah, that's great. Sounds good? All right. Hey. See you at Orlando Studio Four. <laughs> yeah! For the first time, it's going down history, baby! Ice Sex Dicks Multiverse. It's me, Drusarian, 
I'm just here to explain to you guys why I haven't been around since I had my title match with Psych. Well, you see, when you have a high impact match like that, sometimes you get hurt. You know, I got a little bit of a concussion and maybe something, you know, a little bit of a broken bone in my foot. I'm on the road to recovery though, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get that rematch, and I'm gonna get that uh, title belt off his waist. Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. Hey, so uh, got a call from Danny McCabe. Told me uh, had to cut my vacation short, but whatever. You know, it's fucking snowing. It's past Christmas. It's annoying. I hate Santa. I hate snow. <sighs> hate injuries, kind of pulled my groin, you know, it's extremely pulled, pulled it a few times if you know what I mean, but anyway, I had to come back, alright, but I'm not coming back right now, because it's fucking cold, so I'll be back here in like a couple weeks, my groin heals up, I think that's, yeah, a couple weeks, I'll do that, alright?
Oh shit, this is Mercury's car. He must be here somewhere. Oh, we got it. Mercury, Mercury, Mercury. Great. TMZ again. You guys are following me everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. What do you want this time? Mercury, what do you think about Scott Henson saying he's gonna powerbomb you in the match? Powerbomb me? Powerbomb me, this guy. People have been trying to powerbomb me for eight years, okay? Eight years, people. I have thousands and thousands of ways to counter that powerbomb. I do not fear powerbomb and I don't fear Scott Henson. Uh. Mercury, is it true that you're scared that if Scott Henson is able to powerbomb you, it could potentially end your career? Potentially end my career? How about I potentially end your career? Oh no! Ah! <laughs> Oh, 
Why do I have a missed call from you? <laughs> <laughs> 